One try. What's going on? It's your boy T. Back at it again with another episode of Talking with T. And in today's episode, I'm gonna explain to you how the Detroit Lions will beat the Atlanta Falcons in week three of the 2023 NFL season. So without further ado, let's get right into it. Whoa, 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 whoa. Chill out on the injury bug situation. Look around the NFL. Nick Chubb just went out with a season ending knee injury. That's devastating to the Cleveland Browns. The Dallas Cowboys just lost Trayvon Diggs yesterday in practice to a torn ACL. That's devastating. See, it's happening around the NFL. It's gonna be next man up. And I know CJ, GJ's gone for a while and hopefully he comes back later this season but it's not like we're putting some slouch back there Tracy Walker before we signed CJ Gardner Johnson was a baller he's gonna go out there and do his job he's hungry he's coming off a season under injury last year he's got a chip to prove man I'm pumped for Tracy Walker he's gonna be the next man up and the other guys that are hurt our backfield Zonovan Knight he ain't no slouch uh, Craig Randall is no slouch. We're going to get in a rhythm. I think last week we just got punched in the mouth. We weren't expecting it because everybody was telling us how great we were leading up to the season and then beating the Kansas City Chiefs. Now we got punched in the, foul, um, punched in the mouth, got a taste of humble pie. Let's see how this team responds. And usually if you've recognized the pattern through this last 11 games for the Detroit Lions, this is what I noticed last night. I'm not saying this is anything. But usually they win three in a row, lose a game. Win three in a row, lose a game. Lose three in a, uh, win three in a row, lose a game. That's how it's been on this winning pattern. So we beat the Bears, beat the Packers, beat the Chiefs, lost. Now let's get on another three-game winning. Who knows if that's the pattern, but that's something I just noticed, and that's just me being a weirdo fan looking at that. But this is how you beat the Atlanta Falcons. You got to stop their run game. You know they're going to pound the rock. They got probably the offensive rookie of the year if he stays healthy just because the usage they use him all over the field he's their star player on offense and he's a rookie so he's probably gonna win offensive rookie of the year b john robinson we gotta know where he's at in all times they like bring him in motion get him the ball in the, uh, in the, the flat they like to give him jet sweep they like to get him the ball in all kinds of ways and who wouldn't man if you got a weapon like that that's how the detroit lions should be using Jameer Gibbs, and I'm sure they will now that Demo is not going to be playing for the next couple weeks. We're going to see a lot of J uh, Jameer Gibbs, and we'll see. I want to see Gibbs, and I want to see B. John Robinson battle it out on who's going to be the, who's the best back in the class. That's something I'm looking forward to in this game, the battle, the inner battle between B. John Robinson and Jameer Gibbs. But on defensive side of the ball, we got to know where B. John Robinson is, and when he's off the field, you got to slow down Tyson Algier. He's no stalls last year. He was in the running for rookie of the year last year as well. He's a beast, so you got to stop their run game. If you could slow, slow down their run game and let Desmond Ritter sit back there and pass, we have a chance, but if we don't stop the run, we let Desmond Ritter run all over us, it's going to be a long day for this defense. They got to stop the run. I don't understand what happened last week. I know it's Seattle, and I just feel like they just had our number the last couple of years, and they know Aaron Glenn's defense like the back of their hand, like a glove. Right now, I want to see this defense respond. You got punched in the mouth last week. Now everyone thinks you're sucking. Everybody, the whole fan base fell off the bandwagon, feels like. Well, they lose one game. It's not going to happen. Like, that's where I have a huge problem with this Lions fan base, the whole one pride. We lose one game, everyone thinks the season is over. There's 15 more games left. Let's go ball out this Sunday, get a game back, and then we're rolling into Thursday night against Green Bay. That's all it's going to take. We stop their run game, and on offense, we do what we do. It looks like they give a lot of... Uh, on defense, it looks like, on the defensive side of the ball, it looks like they give up a lot over the middle. So I expect the St. Brown plays this week. I expect the James, Josh Reynolds plays this week. I expect Sam Laporta, Jameer Gibbs over the middle. This is where you're going to attack the Atlanta defense, Atlanta Falcons defense over the middle, short crossing routes. Get Gibbs in space. Get uh, uh, let's establish the run game. Let's start mowing people like this offensive line and Hopalodi Vitae. Not playing, but that's all right. We we got Graham Glasgow. Then we got Taylor Decker, who's probably not going to play. So it's going to be the same deep offensive line last week. Let's get in the rhythm. Let's get some chemistry rolling. It's going to be fine. We're going to roll in this week, and we're probably going to beat the Atlanta Falcons 28-24, 28-21. That's where I'm seeing this game. Maybe 31-28 Lions, 31-24 Lions. That's how I'm seeing this game. I don't expect us to get ran off the field by the Atlanta Falcons. I really don't see that. Their last couple games against the Carolina Panthers, they ran away with it late because they're just wearing teams down. Who's gonna be the uh, who's gonna be in more shape? Who's gonna be the more physical team on Sunday? And that's what it's gonna come down to. I expect the Detroit Lions to bounce back and win. We're too good to be one and two. We need this win. It's a must-win game for the Detroit Lions. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Like the video, subscribe to the channel. Please keep helping this channel grow. And I really appreciate you guys for supporting the channel. It's your boy T signing out. I'll see you guys in the next one.
Let's go Lions, one pride, we got this.